Mary, uh, we need to mail a copy of the plaintiff's response. Sorry, the defendant's response to all the proper parties ASAP. CC the usual staff. Uh, Mary, I'm going to need my khaki suit, so I'm sorry. You're going to have to go to the uh, dry cleaners during your lunch hour. I already did. You did? Yes. When? Last night, Mr. Keating, you're wearing your khaki suit. <laughs> Mary, hold on for a minute. Hello, to whom am I speaking, please? Charlene? Uh, Charlene, you don't know me. My name is Matthew Keating. I work for Fenton, Benton, and Sloan, a prestigious law firm in Century City. I've called your number completely at random, Charlene, to tell you that I'm going absolutely out of my mind. Thank you for your time. <laughs> All right, Mary, where were we? Well, you've now got Mr. Fenton on one regarding lunch, Mr. Benton on two regarding Mr. Fenton, and Mr. Sloan on three regarding your memo to Mr. Fenton and Mr. Benton. All right, Mary, listen very carefully. Cancel my lunch with Fenton, tell Benton I'm on with Sloan, tell Sloan I'm on with Benton, and tell Fenton to tell Benton to tell Sloan to tell me when we can all get together. I must get five minutes with them this afternoon. Will do. Hey, Kitty. Oh, Sydney. All right, how are we doing on the Hogan divorce case? Did you serve Wait the papers? Wait a minute, how about a hello? Hello. How are we doing on the Hogan divorce papers? Did you serve the papers? Okay, I get it. Strictly business. Fine. Yeah, serving that paper was one of the high points of my career, Matt. I went up to Mr. Hogan's office, looked him straight in the eye, and said, here. Then he said, thank you. Then I said goodbye. It was thrilling. As a matter of fact, I'm selling my story to Warner Brothers. They're going to make a movie out of it. I think Charo is playing me. I see. We're complaining. Hey, that's not... No, I'm not. And you want to know why? Because then I followed that health inspector you've been trying to nail down. And sure enough, he is taking bribes. Wait, 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 wait. I, have... I didn't give you the health inspector case, No, I? I know, but I heard you talking about it last week, so I just took a shot. Look, Sydney, don't do that. Now, why don't we check with me first? I'm serious. All right, jeez. But take a look at these pictures. They're great. Look, look. Here's one of the inspector outside of a bar talking to some greaseball named Gary that owns a slimy Chinese side downtown. Look, look. And here's one of the greaseball handing over some serious cash. Look. Okay, here's one of me completely nude waxing my legs. <laughs> yeah, oh, this one I really like. This is me making love to Robert Goulet in a jacuzzi filled with fresca. <laughs> Matt, Matt, hello, are you listening? Yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. Gary, Greaseball, Chinese Dive, Fresca, Robert Goulet. Do you client here? <laughs> what is the matter with you today? Mm, nothing. What? Tell me. That's, that's a Sullivan case. All the partners are pressuring me to close and bring him to trial. Wait, Sullivan, and I don't the mob do... guy, what'd he do? Everything. We're working with the IRS. We're going to nail him on tax fraud. Oh, Matt, let me look into this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. Can hurry things up. Come on, no, you always give me the boring no. stuff. Now, don't go sticking your nose in. Now, promise me that. Promise. Don't give me that face. Oh, you're giving me the face. <laughs> what face? This face. <laughs> don't touch the document. See, now what you've done is you move the document. You don't know from where. Now, I have to... I, 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 I'm going out of my mind. Matt, you really are obsessive today. I mean, even oh. for you. Well, hey, come on. You are and always have been Mr. Frankie Plus Budget, but this is over the top. <laughs> Come on, Matt, don't you ever feel like breaking free and, I don't know, uh, picking up one of these nicely tight files and just throwing it in the air, huh? Oh, Matt, let's do that. Come on, let's just, <laughs> let's just throw one of these files. Come on, just chuck it. What do you say? Come on. You don't think I got the guts, huh? You don't think I'll do it? I do. Yes, I do. Come on, what do you say? Let's not and say we did. Let's do and tell the world. I don't think so. It'll be fun. It'll be messy. You'll love it. I'll hate it. Do it. All right. <laughs> You're really pathetic. <laughs> but Sydney, Matt is awful cute. I know, but he's got a girlfriend. Yeah, and guys with girlfriends are really bad news. Oh, like that really matters to you, Jill. I mean, what about that guy you were seeing down in your office? 
Sidney Dan is a model. He is very sweet, and besides, he looks great in my design. Now, don't you go dragging his name through the mud. But he does have a girlfriend, right? Wrong. He has a wife. But I didn't know that. I didn't know that at the time, and, and now they're separated, and Dan swears he's getting a divorce. And you believe him? Well, yeah. Don't you? Hey, I don't even know him. <laughs> chill, chill, okay? I'm sorry I brought it up. I'm starving. But where's Matt? He said he'd join us. Are you hungry? Yeah. Me too. Well, you gonna wait for the boss, or are you gonna order now? I don't know. What do you think? Well, that depends. Is he worth waiting for? I told you he's awfully cute. But he does have that girlfriend. Let's, let's order. order. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Give me a triple blue collar burger with chili and cheese and a large chocolate milk. Uh, keep it on the dark side, okay? One B&B, &B, C and C times three, black cow on the side. Anything else? Yeah, uh, how about an order of fries, soak them, and a slice of custard pie and a chocolate shake. Oh, and how about a, an order of buttered rye toast, but cut the corners, okay? All right. Fries and pie, shake and rye, dust the crust. That's it? <laughs> no, for now. You know, I love this girl. I mean, she orders everything, finishes nothing, and then I serve it to somebody else. <laughs> to who? To him. <laughs> Okay, Joe, what will it be? Um, I will have a Caesar salad. We don't make Caesar salad. We don't do salads. Ray, I knew you were going to say that, so I came prepared. Here's the lettuce, here's the egg, here's the croutons, here's the cheese. Go for it. Here's the knife, here's the fork, here's the napkin, here's the bowl. You go for it. All right. Cheesy, have you seen Sid? Kitty, great suit. Some guy's looking for you. Really? Yeah, he's, uh, they... Oh. Oh. That's him. Ow, 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 They told ow, you an hour ago ow, to ow. drop the Sullivan team, Keating. Don't you listen. Ow. Hey, he hears you, pal. Take a walk. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sydney? Oh, stop. You're such a baby. I'm not a baby. Yes, you are. I mean, come on. You were crying at the blue collar. I was not crying at the blue collar. For your information, I was crying way before I got to the blue collar. <laughs> I was crying when they were pummeling me in the parking lot. So you were crying. Well, technically, I will concede a sob. But I'm not a baby. <laughs> Ow. Hi. Hi. You know... You really have an awfully big head. Start with my head, please. That's all I got in elementary school. Zeppelin head. Bucket head. <laughs> Oldsmobile head. Not funny. Hey, is that the nonstick kind that kind of doesn't hurt when you peel it off? I don't know. Let's check. Ow! Uh, go ahead, laugh. Ripping my flesh and leaving divots in my forehead is apparently funny in this room. I'm sorry. Ow. I'm sorry. So, you really got Sullivan nailed, huh? Oh, yeah. The guy's got to be guilty. I mean, why else would his goons be leaning on me like that? I don't know, Matt. Maybe he's mad because he's innocent. you ever think of that? No way. Sullivan is guilty, and tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock a.m., I am filing formal tax fraud charges with him at the DA's office. You watch me. So what did his goons do to you anyway? Oh, what didn't they do? They punched me, they kicked me, they bit me. <laughs> they bit you? A grown man bit me. <laughs> they held me up in some room where some goon was watching the new Wayne Newton concert video. Have you seen this thing? He does Eleanor Rigby, he does Donka Shane, then he puts on a red wig and sings Tomorrow. It's horrific. <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> You're babbling about Wayne Newton. Listen, the point is, I am not going to be stopped. Little rough stuff does not keep Matthew J. Keating from doing his job. No way. Wow, Matt, I have never seen you like this before. You're so no. passionate, so bloody, so mad. A little too much? No, I'm not. Well, I'm passionately bloody mad, baby. No, that's too much. No! No. <laughs> Solomon's goons do not scare me. Big guys, goons out there. How do you know? They're playing cards in my car. This is ridiculous. I'm going to call Billy and have him get a squad car down here right away. The phone's dead. So are we. <laughs> Matt. 
Matt, please don't stare out that window again, please. I told you what they said. They've only been ordered to follow you. They promised me no more hitting, no more Wayne Newton. I can't believe you went down there and talked to them, Sidney. I can't believe you bought them sandwiches. <laughs> toothpicks in them. They were hungry. They appreciated it. Now they're eating in my car. They're bedding and breathing and eating in my car. Would you please just calm down and just go home? No way. Take one step out of here, they're going to grab me by my lower lip, pull it over my head, and tuck it into the back of my pants. <laughs> nice visual. Thank you. You know, Matt, you're really being paranoid. I mean, Sullivan just doesn't want you filing with the DA. That's all. He's trying to scare you, and you are buying into it. You were scared, too. You should have seen your face when the phone went dead. That's another thing, Sidney. Pay your phone bill. <laughs> How about a loan? I gave you a loan. How about an advance? I gave you an advance. How about an advance on a loan? Now, who writes your material, Abbott or Costello? <laughs> Thought I'd take a shot. Hey, what is with this place? You ever planning on unpacking? I did. Oh, I get it. We're a slob. Oh, I get it. I'm stuck in, like, a really bad dream with Felix Unger. <laughs> Sydney, I'm not exactly out of line here. There's a Fig Newton by your fireplace with a cobweb on it. The spider's using it as a couch. <laughs> oh, no. What? What is that? What? Oh, for the love of Pete, it's a fur ball. <laughs> Apparently, your cat threw up, Sid. The only question is when. Would you please leave me, my cat, and my apartment alone here? Just sit down, sit down. Sip your hot chocolate. It'll make you feel better, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. What? Nothing. What? This is made with water. <laughs> so? Claire always makes it with milk. So, uh, it's fine, it's fine. Like it. Like it. In fact, I like this this place, Sydney. This is real. This has a lot of charm to it. I could I could live here. I could stay here tonight. Let me stay here tonight, Sydney. Why? I'm a scared. I don't want those guys doing the hokey pokey on my face. Oh, no, Matt. They're really very nice guys. Sure, they're nice to you. They're caterer. It was just two measly, crumbly peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And two ding dongs, and assorted fruits. Fine. You want to stay here and spend the night? You can spend the night. Only I get the sofa bed. You sleep on a sofa bed? Yeah. Well, I guess that explains your posture. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, yeah. Here. Is this a clean pillowcase? Yeah, Matt, it's been steam cleaned and sterilized. How about that? Oh, uh, now, Sydney, there's a cat hair on it. I can't put my face on it. If there's a cat hair on it, I've got asthma. <laughs> well, don't laugh at asthma, Sid. She's laughing at asthma. <laughs> oh, God, help me with this. Hi, Sydney. I... Hi, Jill. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, Sydney. Oh, Jill. Jill. No, no, Jill. no. No, no, I'm just going to go. No, Jill. All I can say is you really work fast. Jill, come on in. Sit down for a while. I know. It's going to hurry up and get out. Okay, I'm no, leaving. Jill, I want you to stay. Sydney, I don't want to watch. Now, good night. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell is that supposed to mean? Not a great chance. What the hell is that, that supposed you know, to mean? You don't have to just... Yeah. Sit Shh. What? <laughs> well, I guess the overwhelming question here would be... Why? <laughs> Incidentally, Matt, there's two guys named Guido eating a catered lunch in your sob. All right, enough idle chatter. I have come for serious sympathy, Sid. I'm really depressed. What's the matter, Billy? Oh, I had a date last night. She dumped me. She excused herself from the table to go to the john, and she never came back. <laughs> you believe that? I even went in the ladies' room to follow her. You know they got a candy machine in there? <laughs> oh, I'm so low. I'm subterranean. If I got any lower, I'd be in China. And I hate Chinese food. You know, Billy, whenever I get depressed... I like to treat myself to a nice hot shave. It... 
What are you doing here? And why is he in your bathrobe? And why is the sofa bed down? Why is everyone in the world having sex but me? Billy, please, just go home. Oh, let him stay. Come on. Come, come on. on, you guys can fool around whenever you want. I just don't want to be alone tonight, you know? No, wait a minute. You go. I live here. No. You go to the DA's office tomorrow. Yeah, those goons love you. They won't follow you. You can file the papers for me. Sid, I'm not going to leave this apartment until those papers are filed. Look, Matt, I think you're just rushing things, okay? You're overworked, and why don't you just let me do a little digging first? What the hell are you guys talking about? What do you care? You're depressed. Good point. I'll move over here. Okay. Sid, I promised Fenton, Benton, and Sloan that I would serve those papers. Now, darn it, if I'm not going to serve those papers, now promise me you'll do it for me. But, Matt, it's... No but! So those goons out there think they can push me around. Well, they can't. And I promise you one thing, Sidney Kells. I am filing those papers tomorrow. I will not be pushed around. <laughs> there is a pizza in your bathroom. going to do, Ray? Do what you're supposed to do. File the papers. Yeah, but I don't think it's right. I mean, I, I've been digging all morning on this guy, and I, I just, I think he's innocent. Matt could be wrong. By the way, how is Matt? Actually, he's been driving me crazy. The man is a walking Q-tip. <laughs> <laughs> but he really is. Oh, he's so cute. He had to spend the night last night, so oh, he's still over... Oh, really? The... Relax. He had to. You forced him? <laughs> Sid, I keep telling you, play hard to get. Would you stop, please? Nothing happened. Oh, but Matt is going to kill me when he finds out I didn't file. But then again, he'll probably be grateful because I'll have saved him the humiliation of making an ass out of himself in court. Oh, but then again, I promised him I'd do it, and I didn't do it, and he warned me to do it. Oh, maybe I should just do it. No, because then Sid, I'm how long is this going to go on? I close it, too. I just, I have to find Perry. Where is Perry? <laughs> Geez, he's still here. Uh, no. Good. I own two C notes. Toss me a peanut, would you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Thanks a lot, Sid. <laughs> okay, what about Sullivan? Any information on him? Yeah, plenty, but it'll cost you. Hey, Sid, you seen Perry? Uh, no. You sure? Yeah. What? Nothing. Thanks a lot. I owe you. Okay, then. What about Sullivan? Guilty or not? Not, but get a load of this. All right, let's go over this one more time. We have gone over this so many times. Come on! All right. You ready? Yeah. There she was, walking down the street singing. All right, check it out. Sid's diary. Look, it looks brand new. She must have just started it. Billy. Oh, come on. We used to do this to each other all the time. Dear diary. Billy, I'm not here. I don't hear this. Read it. <laughs> well, L.A.'s been just great. I'm working full-time now for a really nice guy, Matthew Keating, Fenton, Benton, and Sloan. 
Things are looking good, and my sex life has been truly incredible. In fact, I'm making love on the average of six and seven times a day. A day? That's right, Billy. Six and seven times a day. I can't believe I know it's amazingly naive you are to really think that. The woman is very, very scary. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hey. Did you file? Uh, no. Hey, no. Well, Matt Sullivan's innocent. Well, sort of. Said he... you said you'd file. You promised me. I did, Sid. I was there. I heard you. Yeah, but Matt, he paid his taxes. See, I, I took some notes out of your briefcase. You wanted I... my briefcase. You went in my diary. I told you you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> hey, he, he, Look, he told me. Just he... listen to this, okay? Sullivan's guilty, yes, but not of tax fraud. See, he's been leaning on you because he can't afford an investigation. The guy has got millions stashed in a Swiss bank account. Here, here's a statement. It's a copy of it. Now you can go get him. Now you can really nail him. Is she adequate or what? Thanks. All right. <laughs> Sid, I don't know what to say. How about thank you? Oh. Look, Matt, I know what I did was wrong, okay? And I'm sorry that I snuck into your briefcase. But, you know, you were wrong, too. And don't you see, in the end, it's all going to be all right. I mean, I know I broke my promise, but I had to. Sydney, I know I have been on major pain for the past 24 hours. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know. I guess I got a little... Obsessive? Yeah, and, uh... Compulsive? Yeah, and... Neurotic? Yeah, thank you. Okay. Oh. I got frightened. I got scared. I guess I went over the edge a little bit. Well, I'm not scared now. I mean, I guess I got you to thank for that. Thanks, Sydney. You're welcome. And, uh, I waxed your floors. What? Twice. Thanks. Oh, and I arranged your glasses according to size. Milk, wine, whiskey, coffee. Thank you. I was going to do your laundry, but it asked me not to. Thanks. All right. Well, I guess I'll go home, call Claire. Get on with my life. Well, I'll try not to sound so thrilled. <laughs> I feel so foolish. Oh, Matt, it's okay. You were scared. But it's over now, okay? Yeah. Well. Uh, Sid, let me ask you something. Don't you ever get scared? No. No? <laughs> I mean, not even if... Oh, I don't know. I get your point. See you, Bill. <laughs> Are you all right? I am fine. <laughs> you know, I, I think I'm really going to miss him. You see him every day. Yeah, I know, but not every night. Not in my robe. <laughs> he is such a goofball. Yeah, and ooh, what a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you really got the hots for him, huh? Mm, yeah, I guess sort of. <laughs> Oh, by the way, everything in my diary, it's not true. <laughs> it's nine or ten times a day. <laughs> what happened to Archie Bunker's wife, Edith? Well, Gene Stapleton teams up with Whoopi Goldberg in the hot new comedy, Baghdad Cafe. And lightning strikes twice, because right after Baghdad Cafe is the premiere of Sugar and Spice, two great comedies premiering this Friday on CBS. Now get ready for Jake and the Fat Man. <laughs> <laughs>